I'm Bill Gless. I am a classical and flamenco guitar maker. I came to Miami in 1994 when I was 23 years old, many years ago. Steven Dentone. My goal is to build guitars that have a wide range of tonal color, so the musician playing them is free to express themselves. Beauty and sound is what inspires me. That is why I want to revive the Spanish sound of the legendary guitar builders of the turn of the 20th century and reintroduce them in the 21st century while keeping in mind the modern desires for volume and projection. Please feel free to contact me if you're interested in my work. I would love to get to know you.
I'm Bill Gless. I am a classical and flamenco guitar maker. I came to Miami in 1994 when I was 23 years old, many years ago. Hello, Mesut, and hello to you all joining us virtually here today. Thank you so much for inviting us into your homes. We're really happy to be here. And we are delighted to be part of the Florida International University Festival, the Guitar Art Festival. My name is William Coulter, and I'm here with my dear friend Edwin Huizinga. Together, we are known as Fire and Grace. And we would like to begin today with a medley of four short tunes that come from a show that you might have heard of called Riverdance. And when Riverdance first came out, I was captivated by the music. It's got great Celtic roots, but lots of modern parts of it as well. And we'd like to share these four tunes with you. The first one is called the Riverdance Jig. After that is a short tune, kind of like a slow air, called Corona. Following that is a tune called Kronos, and we finish the whole thing off with a really up-tempo reel called Reel Around the Sun. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much. The next piece we would love to play for you today is a, a favorite of mine. Um, it's called Unless, and it is by an incredible band, uh, American band, four young players um, now currently living in Nashville called Hawktail. And we will be making our own arrangement of this tune. Thank you very much. We're going to continue now and play a piece of music that's quite a bit bigger than the one you just heard. Since Edwin and I have been playing together for now for about four or five years, one of our favorite things to do is to combine the music of J.S. Bach with various sorts of folk music. We did this early on with Bach and Irish music, and then we did it with Bach and American fiddle music. And our latest project is combining the music of Bach with music from Spain. So this we call the Suite Espanol, Bach to Spain. And what we've done is we've taken the six movements of the 
Cello Suite by J.S. Bach, Cello Suite Number 1, and we've translated that to be played on the fiddle, and I have crafted an accompaniment to accompany this what was solo cello music on the guitar. And we're going to play those six movements, but we are going to insert a Spanish tune in between each of the six movements. So I'm going to tell you what they all are. There will not be a quiz at the end, so you don't have to remember them, but I want to give you an idea of what the scope of the piece is. We'll begin with the prelude, which you will recognize, I'm sure. It's a very famous prelude. After that, we will segue into a piece that comes from the Basque region of Spain called Mendioquerra, which is a place. From there, we'll go back to the second movement of Bach, which is the Alamand. We'll play the Alamand, and then we will go back to some more Spanish music. This tune is called Ay Linda Amiga, and it's a 16th century uh, melody that was originally a song. After Ay Linda Amiga, we'll go back to Bach for the energetic and rousing Courant. Following the Courant, we will go back to Spanish music and play a very, very beautiful melody that is originally a traditional song, and this particular version that we play comes from the hand of Manuel de Falla, who wrote a series of pieces for voice and piano called Siete Canciones Populares. This one is called Nana. Following Nana, we'll go back to Bach and play the Saraband. Following the Bach Saraband, we'll go back to Spanish music and give you one of the great hits of Spanish folk music, Malagueña. After Malagueña, we will take it to folk music, uh, no, then we'll go back to Bach for the minuets, minuet number one and minuet number two. After that, we'll take you to Galicia and we'll play a lovely tune. It's called Muniera de Chantada. And uh, Muniera is a Galician jig, a 6-8 uh, dance tune. From there, from that Galician jig, we'll go to the final movement of the Bach, which is the jig. You get the idea, jig. Gig, and then we'll finish the whole thing off with another tune that comes from Galicia, composed recently by a great musician named Anxios Pintos, and it's his tune called Concro Cru. Now this may seem like it's going to take forever, and it really takes about four and a half hours, so you might want to, no, just kidding, it only takes about 28 minutes, I think. So there are 12 movements, one after the other, they just run into each other, it's a great adventure, for us to play this music, beautiful music by J.S. Bach and interject these beautiful folk tunes that we love. And we hope you enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoy playing it for you. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us on that adventure. This suite is actually quite a new experience for us, and it's the grandest of the, of the suites that we've done so far yet. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, so we have a special treat for you now. My dear friend William Coulter will be playing a guitar solo. William, will you tell us a little bit about this solo? Thank you, Edwin. Sure. I'd like to play a piece that I wrote um, many years ago now. And um, as you know, I have a strong interest in all things Irish, in particular the music. And uh, I have an older brother named Steve who lived in Ireland for many years. And he moved there after living in other parts of Scandinavia, met an Irish girl, decided to get married. So he called me up one spring afternoon and he said, hey, Bill, I'm going to get married. Do you want to come over and come to our wedding? And of course I said, of course, I'd love to, I'll be there. So time passed and before I knew it, I was on a plane heading over to Ireland to attend my brother's wedding. 
and realizing that I had neglected to get them any sort of a wedding present whatsoever. So I'm on the plane and I've got kind of no money and I don't have much time, so we land and I go to the place where I'm staying and I thought, well, the least I can do is put together some music for them and play it for them at their ceremony, which I did. I had some music that I had been working with and um, after being there for a day or so and experiencing the, the natural beauty of the place, which was in County Kerry, a small town called Dingle, um, I was inspired by the natural beauty of the place and I was inspired by the coming together of these people for this wedding. So we had the wedding ceremony and it was held in the local church and it was actually much more like a mini folk festival than it was a wedding ceremony. There were poets and jugglers and musicians and singers and outside in the courtyard there was a fire eater and it was just a wonderful, wonderful collection of uh, beautiful Irish artists and beautiful spirits and all celebrating this, um, this wonderful event. So the piece of music is called After the Place. I named it Andangan, which is the Irish name for Dingle. And um, I'd like to play that for you now.
For our next piece of music, we are heading to the country of Bulgaria. And in the 80s, a record came out that moved me quite a bit. It was called The Mystery of the Bulgarian Voice. And it was a beautiful recording of the uh, Bulgarian State Female Choir. And it's the first time that I heard traditional music from that part of the world. And uh, we'd like to play three tunes that come from Bulgaria for you that were inspired by that music. The first one is a dance tune called a Kopanitsa, and it's in the time signature of 11.8. For those of you who are at home and want to do some dancing around your living room, be careful, there are only 11 eighth notes in each measure, not 12. Um, the second tune is our own arrangement of one of, the rec one of the songs from that particular CD, and on that CD, the very last track is a beautiful lullaby, and we've made an arrangement of that. Uh, it's called something like, uh, Rest Soundly Theodora, and it's a beautiful, beautiful melody. The third tune in the set is another Kopanitsa, and when we were putting this set together, we knew we wanted to have a fast tune, a slow tune, and then finish it with another fast tune. So I had the great idea, why don't we go to the Google machine and plug in the word Kopanitsa and see what happens. So I did that, I went to my computer, plugged in the word Kopanitsa, hit search, and of course it came back with six quadrillion uh, replies in like no seconds. Um, but the very first one said Kopanitsa PDF. So I clicked on it, opened it up, and it was in E minor, which happened to be the exact key that we were looking for. So I got the guitar and we got the fiddle and we started playing this tune and it actually was a wonderful tune and we thought we can use it great for this set of three tunes. So at that moment, at least temporarily, my faith in the, uh, the goodness of the internet was refreshed. We found a great tune that way. So here they are, three Bulgarian tunes, a Kopanitsa, a beautiful lullaby, and then we'll finish it with the other Kopanitsa.
Thank you all so much. We have one more piece for you tonight. We would like to play for you a tune that I've known since I was a little kid. Um, beautiful, beautiful Baroque piece of music by Antonio Vivaldi. We will be playing one of the seasons of the four seasons um, called Summer. And my friend William Coulter over here, once we started playing together a little bit um, as a duo, I started thinking about what it would be like if we tried to play an orchestral piece together with a violin solo. And since I thought, wow, he really knows how to play the guitar, I thought, well, can he play the violin parts, the viola parts, the cello part, the bass part, and the harpsichord part? I was like, yep, yeah, I think he can do that. I'm happy to try. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So we're going to play for you one of the four seasons, and I'm going to play the one really simple violin part, and Bill is going to play the entire orchestra part. Please enjoy. Thank you. 